sport has been described as war minus the shooting. In the case of Yugoslavian football, it was a prelude to the shooting. In 1991, nationalist tensions erupted before the game between Dynamo Zagreb and Red Star Belgrade. The match was abandoned and these riots were one of the sparks that ignited the war in the Balkans. Sinisa Mihailovic was a member of that Red Star Belgrade team. The kind of bloodletting and convoluted hatred and tribalism of the Balkans is bound to produce people like Mihailovic. And uh, I think he's just one example of, of what happens on a football pitch when players are so wound up and a kind of base instinct takes over. The masked man, Sinisa Mihailovic, from the dark heart of European nationalism, our unanimous choice for number five. Like every one of our players, Mihailovic is a genius, but a flawed genius. Mihailovic. Tremendous dead ball specialist, but temperamental. Uh, when things don't go his way, you know, he, he loses control. A fierce competitor whose intensity on the pitch can overwhelm his opponents and himself. Silly. He may smile, but it was petulant. And he knew from the moment he did it that he was uh, disappearing fast. When the red mist descends, Mihailovic will react to the slightest provocation. His current club, Lazio, has a history of fascist and anti-Semitic fans. They seem to encourage the worst in him. When the paramilitary um, war criminal um, Arkan was assassinated, famously Sinisa Mihailovic asked the uh, Lazio fans to produce a banner. They duly did so. They held up this sign saying, Honour to the Tiger Arkan, which disgusted most people because this is a war criminal. Mihailovic was stunned by this reaction. Um, because he said, uh, this was a guy I knew as uh, the supporter of Reg Star Belgrade when I was a player then, he was a mate, and I commemorated my friend. Earlier this season, Lazio played Arsenal in the European Cup in a bad-tempered game at the Olympic Stadium in Rome. After the final whistle, Mihailovic approached Patrick Vieira and insulted him with a racial taunt. That is a, a, an incident that I suppose would have been the norm maybe 20 years ago, even in this country, you know, getting racially abused by players. I suppose where he has come from, that is still, unfortunately, an accepted part of football in Italy to a certain degree, uh, and definitely in, in Yugoslavia where they haven't had those problems because there aren't many black players playing there. Per scusarmi sinceramente, con tutti coloro che si sono... Mihailovic issued a public apology for his racist remarks to the displeasure of the Lazio fans. Man in the mask, Sinisa Mihailovic, is our number five.